We have you use the reclassify function to change input values for a raster to output values. Now we have you do this for one of your later cost layers, but we are doing it here for an input slope layer. The idea is the same. So we can find it by typing reclassify in the uh, geoprocessing tools here, the search button. And you'll notice the reason I do it this way is that there are many reclassifies. So you can reclassify by an ASCII file or by a uh, table you enter. There's a reclassify in the 3D Analyst Tools. The one we want in this case is the Spatial Analyst Tools version. This is just to show you that there can be many versions. You want to make sure you get the right one. How do you know which one is the right one? Well, while you're learning ARC on your own, in other venues you'll go to the documentation and see if this reclassify is the one you want. So it'll describe the various variants. I'll le left click on this one and I'll do the input raster, in this case our slope.tiff. You notice that it loads up a set of categories here. Now this is a continuous data set. It goes to a very high value. I could reclassify that into let's say three levels and all it does is reclassify the table it gives me as many as I want. So if I only want to do three classes or four classes or two classes, I can go ahead and enter this and it will give me these classes here. So now I've got two available classes. I could also click and then select a row and hit the delete to delete it individually or groups of rows. But I tend to do this to list the number of classes I want and then add the starting and ending value. So suppose for this slope I want to find all values of slope that are greater than 3. Well let's make it a 6% slope, a road buildable slope. And so I'm just clicking here in the cells and adding values and um, this is maybe the largest slope but you can set some any arbitrary large value. And that'll um, 500. It will uh, assign everything you have in a range. If, they, if I were to set this value at, let's say, 10, and I know I have slopes above 10, I would get missing or no data values for those. They wouldn't be assigned. I could also change missing values to no data values here in the input data if I had any missing values. And of course, no data would keep the same as no data. So once we have our table set up, we run it and it will create an output, in this case, reclass slope 3 data layer. And it's fairly quick because it's just a lookup. And when it's done, then I have this reclassification. But notice I only have two classes, those that are less than 6 and those that are greater than 6. So these areas that are greater than 6, if I don't want to build on them, I could go ahead and identify them as those areas that aren't suitable. Uh, we have you, again, do a, a little bit more complicated reclassification, but it's the same idea. You have three or four levels and you just enter the ranges and the output values that you want. Quite a flexible tool.